welcome to today's video. Today I've got a fun uh, kitchen cleanup clutter or clean, declutter, and organize video. Um, I'm not doing every single cupboard in my whole kitchen because there were a few that I had kind of recently just done or I, I had just kept them kind of more neat and tidy than others, but there are a couple areas that I knew had things in them I needed to get rid of. So I'm starting with my Tupperware cupboard because I have a ton of Tupperware and I knew I had some things that I could get rid of. Also, I'm not going to, you know, crazy or organize or put in drawer organizers or shelf bins because my husband and I are actually moving. So I just want to go through things so that I don't take things to the new house that we don't need. Um, but I'm not super duper worried about making sure that these cupboards are perfect because we will be packing soon. So the main reason for this is just to go through and declutter so that I don't pack things um, that we don't need or use anymore. <laughs> shape so I want it oh gosh see I'm so bad at getting rid of Tupperware you guys I have like a Tupperware problem like all the different shapes and sizes come in handy when you have certain foods you need to put in your fridge oh gosh okay this is great for soup so I'm gonna keep this one You guys would not believe how much of this process I actually had to cut out of this video because I got bored watching all of it, so I knew you probably would do. Okay, finally, I'm getting rid of something. So these are all like sandwich containers from lunch meat that we've held on to that honestly, all they do is annoy me because the lids go everywhere. There's no need for them. Like I have all of this stuff. I don't need these. Sorry, honey. I kept them for my husband because he puts his sandwiches in them for work, but I kept one for his sandwich. <laughs> Let's get this into this. So I didn't really have a plan when I started to do this. I kind of just started putting things in and it kind of worked itself out, as you'll see. shapes and sizes so these are like the shorter rectangles these are like the bigger deeper squares and rectangles my circular and like smaller containers along with dun, 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 the sandwich container and then those four are ones that I don't use as often and they're kind of odd sizes so whew, first cover down and I'm actually really happy with that Okay, moving on to kind of some of my catch-all drawers that I have here in the island. They are not organized at all, and I also know that they have some stuff in them that we never use. So I'm going to go through these and get rid of things that we don't need to take to the new house with us. this is the after and i will admit it's still i know it doesn't look super organized um i would get like a drawer organizer for it but since we are moving i don't really want to buy new organizers that fit these drawers I'll do that when we get to the new house. Right now, my goal is just to minimize what we're taking to the new house if we don't use it. So 
believe it or not, I do actually use everything in here. And I know it's kind of a random drawer, but it actually, I don't know, it's just stuff that I felt like kind of didn't really go with the other drawers. I don't know, it's kind of a random catch-all drawer, but. Here is another kind of random utensil drawer next to the oven that I also know has things in it that we never use. So let's uh, go through this one. So this is what I'm getting rid of out of that drawer. Thought I'd use these a lot, never use them. Never use this big fryer thing and it just looks disgusting. I feel like I have enough spatulas and I have enough spoons. I don't like these little tongs and I have still like four pairs in there and then these we just never used. I don't feel like we have a need for them. So these are going to good well. Why does purging feel so good? Also, I'm having a bad wig day today so just we're just gonna ignore, ignore it. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this drawer is actually pretty good. I just have a few baking spatulas and spoons, nothing crazy, I don't think. I wouldn't mind a new set because, do you see these? Like, they're so old, but to be honest, like, they work. So I'm not gonna get rid of them for now. If I buy something new in the future, um, I'll replace them and give these to Goodwill, but for now, I don't have any other ones, so I'm not gonna go donating them. And then I just have my measuring cups that are also very old, but my husband and I have a hard time getting rid of or replacing something that's perfectly fine. So we're gonna leave this drawer alone. So I realized I'm kind of like bouncing around a lot. So what I think I'm gonna do is just like focus on our island and what's in there. Um, that way I can just be like, okay, island's done. And then I'll just make my way like in an L around the kitchen and I think Maybe then I won't kind of, like, I feel like I'm forgetting what I've done. <laughs> so let's do the island and go from there. So this is a drawer that just had some baking, like, pie dishes that I knew that I didn't use. And I just didn't need this many. I think the only reason I had three was because I made a three, like, tiered cake one time. And that was, like, eight years ago. So I'm going to get uh, rid of a couple of these. Also, my husband never lets me give anything away or to Goodwill, so I have to get the Goodwill box out of the house before he comes home. Don't judge me. I also just realized that I've been forgetting to wipe down the drawers as I empty them, so I'm actually gonna really quick go back and clean out the drawers that I forgot to clean, that I just organized. This is a little kitchen gadgets kind of drawer that I had and I definitely had a couple things in here to get rid of. I got rid of that little mini blender attachment because I don't even have the blender base for it anymore and it doesn't fit on my new one. So I don't know why I hung on to that for so long. And then I believe I also decided to donate um, 
this like really tiny little coffee grinder that I had because I just never use it. I also decided to donate that little slap chop thing that's on the counter there with the white handle because I just never use that anymore either. <laughs> So this is still the same day, but I decided to change my shirt because the other one kept falling down and every time I pulled it up, I just kept feeling like I was flashing the camera. So I decided to change and then make a margarita because it's five o'clock somewhere, right? cupboards right here had just gotten super messy so I felt like every time I was getting in them I was just forgetting what we even had up there so I pulled everything out of this one just to see what we have and make sure there was nothing hiding back in that corner there that uh, we didn't need anymore. to my nemesis the junk drawer <laughs> I didn't crazy organize this one when I put everything back I'm not gonna lie but I did just go through it and I took things out that definitely did not need to be in there But I just put a lot of water everywhere. Nice, thank you. So I was dancing. I don't know.
know if you can tell, but I was trying to make a little bit of rhyme or reason to it, uh, but it's definitely far from perfect. My pull-out spice cupboard was a mess, you guys. I was starting to just not know what I had or where to find anything. I was never putting anything back in the same spot. I had some back stock of certain things, but it was unorganized, so I wouldn't remember I had it, and I would just go buy even more. So I'm just going to pull everything out, clean off the shelves, go through things, consolidate what I can, and... Um, get it put back on there. I decided that the way I wanted to put it all back on the shelf was actual spices and things I used the most were going to be on the very top. Then I was going to have a shelf for strictly just herbs and then a spot for some of the back stock. But I also cut a lot of the organizing part of this out for you guys because again it was kind of like the Tupperware and I was watching it and I was just like oh my goodness. I couldn't watch all this, I would get bored. So I cut it way down, but you'll uh, see the final result. decent <laughs> collection but there's no rhyme or reason to them right now or how they're ordered so I'm gonna go through them figure out what I have doubles of um, and get this shelf reorganized because right now I honestly don't even know what I have so not feeling my finest right now because I just organized that whole shelf and realized I didn't hit record so basically what I did was I pulled everything off and I just reorganized it by color, figured out what I had multiples of. I still don't feel like I have like, it's not a perfect system, but um, I think it'll do. I at least, <laughs> there's me, I at least know what I have now. And um, if I do wanna look for something, I know that it's organized by color and that I honestly, like I know the different colors of everything. So that will help me find it. So let me show you what the shelf looks like now. Okay. So I have my 15 mils right here and all of my five mils over here and then um, some roller balls and this is by a completely different brand but it's just on my oil shelf. It's some CBD facial oil but I organized it from like dark reds to pinks to blues, greens, yellows, oranges, browns. So I did that with the 15 mils and then if you come over here, this part's hard because this part's not actually like a three tier but I did essentially the same exact thing. So if I wanna know what I have, I know exactly how to find it. I seriously can't believe that I did that. I like didn't even hit record. And what's funny is I had this thought to myself like halfway through, like, did I hit record? Like I should double check. And then I was like, no, I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, so the last thing that we're gonna do is make some elderberry syrup. I know it's kind of random and it doesn't really go with like the cleaning, decluttering, organizing, but it was just something that I wanted to get done today. So um, yeah, I've never done it before. So we're gonna do it together and I'll show you how I figure it out and how it turns out. So the recipe that I followed said to use, I believe it was a quart of water for every two ounces of elderberries. So I decided to double that. So I'm doing two quarts and four ounces of elderberry. So that was about half of this bag because this bag was eight ounces. And you put it all on the stove and you just bring it to a simmer. 
and you're supposed to cook the liquid down a quart down to a pint so i'm supposed to end up with about two pints of liquid but while that was simmering i figured i would get the dishwasher unloaded <laughs> starting to smoke and simmer a little bit so I'm just keeping an eye on it because you don't want it to come to a boil I just need to simmer it until it thickens up at this point I felt like it had um, steamed off simmered off I don't know cooked off enough of the liquid so I'm just straining the liquid apart from the elderberries and then it felt like there was still a lot of water in there so I'm just smushing them down a little bit and trying to get all of the water out and then once I do that I go ahead and pour the liquid back into the pot because we need to add honey to it um. so for this recipe I believe it was 16 ounces of honey for each pint of liquid so it was this whole um, 32 ounce container of honey So the last thing I added was a little bit of splash of whiskey per the recipe and then I put a couple drops of peppermint essential oil just to um, give it a little bit more flavor. Hubby's home now. <laughs> that was all the cleaning, decluttering, and organizing that I was gonna do today. And I had to make him a margarita too, cause he got jealous of mine. But thank you guys for watching. I hope it gave you some motivation to clean your cupboards and your drawers and everything. And it makes me feel good knowing that when we move, we're not gonna be packing up things that we don't even use. So. Say it, girl. <laughs> Subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay Bye. classy.